So Deadlock is kind of like an interesting game, right? It has different mechanics of different styles of games, but it also has some things that you might even miss as a beginner, and I'm gonna be here to tell you exactly what that is. Before we jump into it, I wanna remind you guys that this is the place to be if you wanna look at Valve's games, tactical FPS games, other games, as well in general but yeah mostly focusing on like fps style of games so if you enjoy those types of games i think you might enjoy this channel and uh, subscribe would be super super highly appreciated all right let's jump into it okay so when you start with the deadlock right you have three characters that you can choose from and the game picks one of those three characters for you to play with now when you begin the game a quick little like beginner tip with b don't focus too much on the enemies like yeah if they shoot at you you can just shoot back at them that's fine but the creeps are very very important because the quicker you can get rid of all the creeps the quicker your creeps can get to their tower and you can destroy that and move on another thing would be the healer creeps like you'll see those holding a flag next to them that's the healer creeps they're gonna stand out from the rest of the like pack right you should get them first destroy those monsters creeps whatever you want to call them in the game i don't know what they call them in the game but in any case, destroy them first because they can heal the enemy hero. That's uh, that's bad. That's really bad for you. So yeah, just destroy them and stay close to yours because then they can heal you if you do sustain some damage from the enemy hero or their creeps or the like tower or whatever the case may be. Just that's like one of the most important parts. The next thing has to do with buying items or in this case upgrades in this game. You have a buy menu where you can buy a like a specific set of items to increase specific parts of your character and i think everybody has the same items that they can buy but it depends from character to character which ones are important now most of the time a lot of people wait until they got killed by the enemy team to buy a lot of the stuff and then they go in refresh and refurbish but you don't have to do that you can just fall back if you have gotten enough currency just fall back to your tower and next to it you will see one of those buying stations and you can do that live while playing the game so you can keep on buying and buying and buying and getting stronger as you play and progress further in the game that way when you get to the heroes again on the enemy team you can destroy them pretty pretty quickly depending on how well you have played then while we are on the subject of specific characters and play styles different characters abilities works differently and with different combos and it all depends on the fighting situation you are in, right? Now, the abilities are 1, 2, 3, and 4 to activate the abilities. So you can utilize them in different variations. It doesn't have to be from one to the other or just one of the, like, four or whatever. You can use, let's say, 3 to grapple somebody close to you if that's the ability. And then 1 to, to sustain some damage, maybe stun them. And then 4, use your ultimate to do a lot of, like really heavy damage like it, it all depends on the character that you have so it will be best to learn the three characters that you choose go into like a practice server or whatever and you can just learn the abilities or like bot matches as it's a very good place to actually start and you can learn them and learn their playstyle, and that way master the characters before you go into an actual battle then next up would be the battles itself now the playtest only happens at specific times of the day so you won't be able to play against other players the whole time but a great place would be the bot battles where you and a bunch of other like actual people play against bots it is a lot easier than the actual player games but it is a great way to get a feel of the game and to learn the playstyle of your characters and learn the playstyle of other characters as well next up would be moving on to the actual bosses in the game yeah there are actual bosses in the game so in the tunnels and stuff you have the creeps which in dota language or league of legends language would be the jungle where all the like random monsters are and then you have your like mid boss it's a boss in the middle of the map that spawns later in the game and then i think he respawns every now and again right so if you and your team have destroyed the mid boss you get like a revitalizing or a vitality boost where you keep on getting healed over time as far as i could see i might be wrong so if i'm wrong and you have played this game before just let me know in the comment section down below but yeah that is basically a quick overview of the game now have you struggled with anything in the game yourself if you have access to the game and if you don't have access to the game and you want access to the game watch this video right here because it might actually be very important all right that being said subscribe like and i'll see you in the next one peace